Hello, this is Chris with Packet Pioneer. Just wanted to take a moment to shoot a video about TCP spurious retransmissions. Now you might see in Wireshark these ugly black lines with the red letters, and a lot of times we'll see those for things like TCP retransmissions, fast retransmissions, dupacks, uh, we'll see them for out of orders, but we'll also see them for spurious retransmissions. So I just wanted to explain what those mean and how we can uh, look into analyzing them. Now a normal retransmission is pretty simple. Let's imagine that we just send a packet across the wire, we do not get it an acknowledgement, and we have to resend that packet sometime later. Typically, Wireshark is going to flag that as a retransmission. That's where it sees the original packet, and it sees the replacement packet. But for now, let's take a look at spurious retransmissions. Let's see why Wireshark would consider this different than a regular retransmission. So here we have a TCP conversation. We can see SYN, SYNAC, ACK. We see a GET. We see an acknowledgement. Then we see some data come back from the server. This is our 684 bytes, and we can see this is just a standard 302 response. Now here, we can see the client waits 197 milliseconds, and then it acknowledges this 302 response from the server. So up to this point, this packet, packet number 2198, or this 684 byte packet, has been acknowledged. Well, another 113 milliseconds later, we see another packet come from that server. We see a retransmission. That's exactly what this is. In fact, just to make sure, not just with packet size, but if we take a look at the TCP sequence number, let me come down to the details. Let's go to our sequence number. It's starting on sequence number one. We're sending 630 bytes of data. The next expected sequence number is 631. That is also the number that we should expect to see for the acknowledgement number to make sure that this packet has been received. So if we take a look at the acknowledgement number, this is from the client, we can see that it's acknowledging 631. Okay, so this ACK corresponds with the packet above it. That's also why we see over here in Wireshark, uh, this acknowledgement is checking, so to speak, the packet above it. That, that means this ACK, ACK corresponds with that data packet. But if we take a, take a look at the TCP spurious retransmission, our sequence number is 1, we're sending 630 bytes of data, and our next expected sequence number is 631. So this is simply a retransmission from the server, but the reason why Wireshark is tagging it as spurious is because we've already seen the acknowledgement go out up above. Now let's talk about how these spurious retransmissions happen and what we can do about them. Now, if we take a look at the original packet that was sent, this 302 moved temporarily, we can see here that the client waited almost 200 milliseconds to acknowledge. Now, there's a few reasons that that, that can happen. One is, a lot of times when we see a move temporarily, uh, the client immediately goes and starts talking to whatever service or server is mentioned in this packet. We can notice over here with the frame numbers, we can see that there's quite a few packets that are between these two packets that I have here that my filter is not showing me. So it could be that this client, I could just remove this and analyze that, but just for simplicity, this client is probably out busy going and talking to wherever I was redirected to. Now after the client is has gone and done its thing with those new connections, now it's coming back 200 milliseconds later and acknowledging that 302 moved temporarily. Now on the server side, it's been waiting for this acknowledgement didn't hear anything from the client, so it went ahead and sent this spurious retransmission. That's one possibility, that this acknowledgement did not make it to the server in time before it went ahead and retransmitted the packet. That's one possibility. Also, it's possible that 2236 was simply lost on the network between the client and server. So the server never got the acknowledgement. So the server goes ahead and sends that retransmission. So from our perspective on the client side, this is a spurious retransmission. But if we were capturing on the server side, if that ACK was not received, this would simply just be a regular retransmission. But getting back to the purpose of our conversation here, we were talking about the difference between an out of order and a retransmission and a spurious retransmission. So basically, this is a retransmission that has already been acknowledged up above us in the packet stream. Sometimes these happen because we're capturing client side and the acknowledgements going back to the server are lost, so we see the server retransmitting, or it could be that those acknowledgements simply didn't make it to the server in time.
Either way, one side or the other is resending data that's already been acknowledged. So I hope that's helpful when looking through TCP traces with Wireshark. Hope to see you on another video. Thanks.